Division Rivals in FIFA 22 has completely been revamped alongside Foot Champions, but in this video we're mainly going to be focusing on Division Rivals and Foot Champions in another video. So Division Rivals is now going to be moving into a brand new ladder system, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated, there's more layers pretty much, it's more in the control of EA Sports, and the main focus is just to get as many wins as possible. You no longer need to be thinking, do you have enough points to sort of get the best rewards, anything like that. If you are going to be winning the most games as possible, then you are going to be ending up with the best rewards. You don't have to be worried about the timing of it or anything like that, that we had in the past. So EA Sports are basically doing more of the work for you, but it does make it sort of more complicated, but more like an arcade game, which should be more fun for the future. And there's a lot of benefits to this. So everyone is going to be starting at the same point, which is going to be Division 10. And we are going to be moving our way forward from there. So placement games have completely been scrapped. So with this new ladder system, we are going to be having ranks very similar to how we had it in FIFA 21. They're going to be reflect reflecting your progress within a division. And they are going to be unlocking you better weekly rewards. We are going to be having win streaks. That is going to be a very big thing now because we do now have stages which are the individual steps between ranks so this is where the win streaks do come in and it can be quite a big thing now a thing that EA Sports noticed that a lot of people were doing was actually self relegating down so they could actually be with objectives it would be easier other things like that even though foot friendlies a little bit helped that out but now that is no longer going to be possible because there are going to be checkpoints and that is pretty much there to stop you from going down so it's also to stop you being annoyed if you go on a losing streak you're not going to go all the way down you are going to be having these checkpoints so it's quite a nice thing and also it does stop people from self-relegating so that should be a big w then maybe a big motivation for ea sports a decision why they actually went ahead and made this huge revamp to division rivals now division rivals is now going to be a seasonal competition tied to the overall foot season so how we do know how we were having it sort of every single six weeks that is when we were getting a brand new season and we did have of course the season the storyline plays all of that stuff so division rivals is going to be following that same time pattern so that should be quite a good thing because that is how we are going to be actually having milestone rewards they are going to be earned by playing games win or lose and they are going to be updating of course every single season we are going to be having a maximum of three that we can be working towards that are going to be rewarding us with packs so we are going to be having alongside this the usual weekly rewards that we do have in division rivals as we can see here this is a nice visual representation that we do have given by ea sports in fifa 22 this is someone currently in division one there are the checkpoints as we can see the blue flags so he is currently rank five which is rank v and if he wants to go ahead and make it to rank four then he does actually have to win three games so this is a nice representation of how it is going to be working if he keeps on going if he wins loads of games he can eventually make it to the elite division as well and the elite division we don't have to worry about it too much it's pretty much for pro players but once you reach there you are just going to be getting skill rating you aren't going to be having any of these checkpoints stages or anything like that you're purely just going to be earning those global fifa ea points to try and actually compete globally so we don't really have to worry about that too much but that is pretty much how division rivals is going to be working thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time